Healthcare in America, it's a hot topic these days. It's much different now than a century ago. Back then, doctors made house calls, patients oftentimes paid with produce. In this week's People in Places, we visit a museum here in eastern North Carolina dedicated to telling the story of the country doctor. Just get off the road and take a little road that's less traveled. Situated about halfway between Greenville and Raleigh is the Nash County town of Bailey. People usually don't think about coming to Bailey for any particular reason. But there is at least one thing that brings people to this town of around 560 residents. It's a perfect place for a museum like ours. That museum is the Country Doctor Museum. And it's like stepping back in time a little bit. It's the oldest museum in America dedicated to the history of rural health care. Annie Anderson is the museum's director. It's something that you'll not experience anywhere else. It's really kind of a little quirky museum, but we um, try to make uh, the history of learning about the country doctors kind of fun and unique. Here you'll find over 5,000 medical artifacts and historic texts from across the nation and from right here in North Carolina. Well, on our guided tours, we really enjoy speaking with our visitors and guests. We take them into our apothecary room where we talk about 19th century medicine and what it would have been like um, to have to have your doctor roll the medicine for you, um, or they can see our jar of leeches and we talk about bloodletting. We also have um, a sick room where we talk about what it was like to have an extended illness and having to live in the home and have someone take care of you for an extended period. A lot of folks also love our carriage house where we have cars and buggies used by country doctors in the early um, 20th century. Transportation used by doctors to make house calls, something almost unheard of these days. I think the Country Doctor Museum is probably one of the best kept secrets in the eastern part of the state. Scott Hendricks teaches U.S. history at Southern Nash High School. He, like most visitors here, appreciates that the Country Doctor Museum offers an accurate glimpse of what life was like around rural North Carolina decades ago. The people that I've talked to that come here and tour the museum and find out everything that is here are just are really surprised at the, the artifacts and the, and the stories and all. And it's, 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 really a, uh, it's, it's really a gem to have here in this part of the state. And thanks to East Carolina University, the Country Doctor Museum is celebrating its 50th anniversary. The museum is now managed as part of the history collections of the Lopez Health Sciences Library. And so I think it's important to tell the country doctor's story so that we don't lose sight of those things that made the country doctors really special in American history. And next Thursday, May 24th, the museum is inviting the public to help them with an oral history project. Students from Southern Nash High will be there to help. We'll have more on that event tomorrow here on 9 on Your Side. If you have an interesting person or place you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Just reach out to me through email or you can do so on one of my social media accounts.